Hey guys, and welcome to Missed Messages. Alright, let's start. And yeah. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Oh, this is cool. I love the art. Not saying I'm gay, but that's also kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> alright, alright. Love my books. There's How to Raise a Plant, Piracy for Dummies, and my favorite. Memes to Movements. Interesting books. Very interesting plants. Filling my heart by filling my room with plants. Uh-huh. Tea. I love tea. And that's the tea. That is the tea. Tea is the best drink. Cheap, caffeinated, and tasty. Oh yeah, tea is the tea-iest of all teas. Pros of wearing black. Hot as hell. Cons of wearing black. It's hot as hell. Oh yeah, and there's Animu! Animu! My precious Mado Madoka Magica poster, which really is just a printout. God, they're cute. They, they are, very much. You alright? Love me. Hope midterm went well. Got you boba, it's in the fridge. You alright? Okay. And some notes from my friend and my roommate, May, who is both distant and a total sweetheart. Okay, okay. Laptop. Work stuff. AX plus BY plus C Z equals D, which is even, what even is a four dimensional shape? I need to work, but I'm also bored. I can't focus. Can I click on, what's this? Should I accept? I make a valiant attempt at working. Sure. I'll oh, look, memes. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna get back to that. I wanna go outside first. The door to the outside world. Bathroom. Ooh. I do what I gotta do, then go back. Nice. The door of my room roommate, May. Getting closer, I hear voices. Let's be a creepo and listen in. Although my Chinese was bad, I still detect an angry Chinese mother when I hear one. Thailand lay wei shen mi bu. I don't. I'm gonna. I am butchering that. Too lazy. Why don't you? Her mother is fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for me. Soft murmur of her affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Alright, alright. Uh, I guess there's nothing to do except the laptop, so... Uh, send meme back. I wonder if she'll respond. To goth girlfriend, work stuff. To goth iPhone. Accept! You're welcome. So, Pacel Princess MacBook Pro. What are you up to? I am the... I am the most amazing Pacel Princess ever. Um, working but can't focus. That's a cool emoji. That's the, that's the emoji of an emoji. Uh, no, I feel that I hope, I feel that, I feel that. I hope I'm not distracting you. I also can't focus. I'm pro procrastinating with makeup right now. Let's see the makeup. <laughs> Gotta slide into those DMs, am I right? Except, ooh. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. Aww. That's cute. More notes. OMG, no you, you're so cute, go out with me. Um, uh, sure, why not? Yes, wanna, wanna meet me later outside tonight? My room 206. Accept, accept. Oh, that's a bear hug. That's dangerous. That little koala thing is dead. Oh, that's a really weird <laughs> meme. Discord, Spotify. Oh, okay, I can choose the music. I, oh my god, it's, in, it's like an actual laptop. This is cool. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um, so, pretty cool, so, oh. Later that night, I went out to meet my goth girlfriend. Before I left, my roommate opened the door. Hey there! You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after 9. Oh. 
Let's ask why. Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait! Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. She's into us, isn't she? Oh, she's singing. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life was so short. Are you okay? Okay, she's not okay. There is something wrong. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you are also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aww. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. Will I? Will I though? I met my got girlfriend. She told me her name. Amy. We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. Um, sky. Sky is beautiful. The sky is gorgeous. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing. For once. Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it, and my mind quiets. That's so poetic. Airdrops! Um, let's go with arts. So you're into makeup? Hell yeah, I am! God, can you imagine being so powerful that you can transform into a different person? Cause I can. God is a woman. Oh, references! It's already coming in. Um, makeup artist. I've thought about being a makeup artist. You think I'm that talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. The competition is fierce though. I'll just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. If you ever need someone to practice looks on, I volunteer as true. Oh my God, the references are coming in. I, I approve of this game already. You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. Ooh. Airdrop! So many- so how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up, maybe five. Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one! You were also the only one to send back something back. <laughs> Why did you reply? I don't know. Bored. Wanted to meet people. Meet people? Yeah, I have a lot of friends, but I want more. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right now. Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. I feel you. It's always sad when someone sh someone shared close personal moments with grows distant. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know. And I try to and I try to fill it up by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Well, you always have me. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah, close friends and who you can trust anytime, anywhere are the best. But there is going to be times where you have none. During those times, try to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh. Learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah. And let time pass. As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. It's getting late. We should head back. Aw. You're so cute. Goodbye, kiss. Sure, why not? Nothing bad can happen from a kiss, can't it? You're the cutest. No. No, you! Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. See you. I'd turn my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, that's bad. That is bad. Something something happened, didn't it? When I when I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love me. Don't come in in the room. Open the door. We got to check in. We can't just not do anything. The door felt heavier than usual as I opened the door.
Um, the smell, the sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene, myself, her. The police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and I heard myself scream endlessly. May, no. May. My disembodied self watching watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor? You probably don't know her. May? No, that sucks. That that's not how you respond to a suicide. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her and them. I couldn't help it. I hoped that she was still there. It was only during the funeral that reality sunk in. The funeral. I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed out of reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead and we were putting her in the ground. The end missed. Man, no one saw it coming, could I have? Was there a message I missed? Oh man. The scissors, the blood. Oh, d damn. Can I? Oh, okay. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking co content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go. Please, don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow, I'd missed my chance. We gotta save her. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that. I, I should start working. May? May? Um, no, doesn't matter. Um, is there anything I missed? There must be something I missed. Well, maybe I can do something else here. Decline? What's this? So should I accept? Decline it. Fuck. I made an alley- I made- an al valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I got tired and wanted to take a break. This time, I'm gonna decline the girl, the, the goth girlfriend completely. I spent 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately end up confused. Why am I a fool, a hooligan, and oh for the PhD in buffoonery? That's weird. I hear noises. Seem like they're coming from my roommate's, roommate's room. Alright, we already went through this. Okay. Decline it all. I attempt to focus back on work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. Keep declining. I do some work and even start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important- Yeah, he's never around, is he? He's never, ever around anywhere. The noise from my roommate's room has quietened down. I'm gonna go there. Knock. Check up on her. It's important. I fear what I might find. Hello? Yes? Um, shit. What should I say? You okay? I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Aw, thank you, I'm fine. Um, well, 
Kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me in case you don't want to be alone? I like that, but I have work to do. Take a break with her. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Aw, I could use a break to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a second. She went back into her room to get something. When you came back, we laid on my bed looking at looking out at the setting sun. Stuffy. What is Stuffy? So, what oh stuffy, okay. <laughs> what are you holding? Oh, my pug. <laughs> I call him potato. Aw, he looks so well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Huh, I forgot, you remembered? Of course I did. It's gonna happen all over again. Oh no. Thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday came like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Ask her how she is. It's very important to ask how people are. So how, how have you been? Fine, just, that's what we all say. That's what we all say. Big mood, how so? I don't know, like a bone deep, t yeah, it always feels like that. Well, something you can do, I guess. Day after day. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe. I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks, maybe it's a type of an antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Um, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. Haha, <laughs> me neither. I know how it feels. Not just about this, but in general. Feel you. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really. By now, I just kind of want to die. No, you don't. You never want to die. You're... You're beautiful and you're... You, you don't deserve to die. Are you suicidal? Um... Oh my god, sorry, what was that? Too blunt? I f feel free to answer it. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. Well, some of us think more deeply than others may, so, you know. I imagine how it'll go down, how it looks, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care that I was gone, not just how about how I went. I understand. No, I can understand. You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might kick me out of school. That's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thank you. Yeah, when you're talking to a depressed person or something, this thing like that, do you want to talk about their feelings, not just go and tell them to seek professional help? Because you want them to feel like they matter and that you're there for them. I mean, ultimately you are there for them. That's why you're talking to them, but yeah. We're talking to people like us, you gotta... You've gotta put them first, sometimes. I know where you're coming from, I think. You do? Yeah, then I wouldn't have any problems. But then, I wouldn't have anything after life. Uh, anything. After life, there's nothing. For me, if this is the only show I get, then why step out early? Got it alive. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. Oh, there was a flash. Dream. I had a weird dream. Ooh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called out for you, but you didn't hear me. Yeah, May, you gotta come out and hear us. You gotta, you, you, you gotta come back from this snowstorm. And I lost you. Huh, what does it mean? I have no idea, but it stuck with me. Aw, oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared about, about, about it by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. Ask her what your dream's about. What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like most recently, one. It featured you, actually. In a bad or good way. Good. Go on. Ha, huh, there was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected. I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Wow. 
That's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Yeah. Dream, you really saved me. Talk about the parents because she had people. Her mom was screaming at her. Oh, yeah, what were those noises about? Hmm? Earlier in your room. Ah, uh, my mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, uh. She and I. Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick, angry. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? Ha. Huh. You sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? What are you feeling? No, I just want to help you, May. We all here for you, May. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard, hard at anything. As I grew up, I, stared, I started lagging be behind because I didn't put enough effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. Now, my life is slowly falling apart and instead of helping me, helping me and listening to me, my parents are yelling at me and, play, and wasting time and yelling at me for wasting time to play games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Talk about the writing. What makes her happy? You know. What do you write about before your parents made you stop? Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, promise you won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fanfiction. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Harry Potter fanfiction is truly adorable uh, at times. Then they're, they're kind of creepy and weird and very overtly sexual, but you know, it's still adorable. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry. I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed. That's awesome. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. Gotta write more. Why not do more, more of that then? Everyone likes writing though. Anything creative, art, music, writing, it doesn't count. That's not true. There's plenty of successful writers out there, but I'm not them. I'd never be able to make a living out of it. And my parents would get so angry. Would you rather live the way you're currently living or live poor but happy? Besides, who says you're not good enough to make it profitable? Profitable. I don't know. What are you thinking of? Um, uh, I think I could be a good writer if I worked hard at it, but it's so much easier to give up and just not work. You could give up. I see struggle as a hill I need to climb to get the reward at the en other end. You could give up or you could get the reward at the other side. Motivational speaker much? Ah, nah. I've had a lot of hills that I just wanted to give up on. Have you ever given up? Well, we all give up at some point, don't we? We all give up at some point. Something, it's, it's something I couldn't care less about, like math. <laughs> math is fun, what are you talking about? Math is brain racking and nerve busting. But if I care about it, then I pull through and I never regret it. I'm gonna work harder at getting my life back together. It's tough though. Yeah, it's hard to work on something you don't like. Give me a math problem and I'll snore. But give me a computer science problem and I'll look at it for hours. Thanks, I really mean it. I think my parents got into my head. I needed your push. Anytime. Stare outside. So this is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. <laughs> really? But I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's satisfying of sorts. A day where I stay inside, a window open with tea and book is good stuff. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, and go to sleep. Then I do it all over again. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. That's that's really adorable. Why are you so good to me? 
because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. We all do. We all want you to feel better. TV shows and memes show worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawn. Gotta go, I have work. Yeah, good luck, I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for under listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking to me one bit. Yawn. Wow, time flies by fa time flies by fast. Kind of need to use the bathroom. Must be all the tea. May's door is open. I wonder where she is. Go to May. No, May. May. No. May. No. I opened the door to my roommate. May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. May, no. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I need to go. Hug her. May. I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'm not okay. I didn't say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. Yeah, we say that. We say that because we don't want others to, you know, feel bad about us or we don't know how they're going to respond. And sometimes we just don't want to um, talk about it. I don't really feel okay. But I don't want to bother anyone, especially you. You're so kind. I made smoothing motions on her back. Why are you so sad? I don't know, I... I don't really want to talk right now. That's okay, I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug, just hug. It's been months since that day. I may not have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want her to depend, be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until she, until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May, May, thank you. Me, what for? I uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I really appreciate you, really. Aw, oh, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you! No you. Uno reverse! <laughs> oh, the classic Uno reverse card! Oh yeah. Works every time. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerfully and unpredictably, never ending. I weakly cried for help, and no one came. My, vo my voice lost in the snow, but you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. The end, hope. There's something to look forward to, after all. Thank you for playing. By Angela He, inspired by real life, Evan and Junji Ito. That was an amazing game. Yeah. We all, a lot of us, people who are depressed, um, Sometimes we just need people, and you gotta push. You gotta, you've gotta, you know, hug it out. You gotta show that you care. And yeah, and I know not many people are gonna watch this, but if you ever feel down or depressed or you feel like you want someone, it's it's okay to ask for a hug or even talk about it. You know, um, it's it's okay to ask for help and seek help and you know, be with someone. Sometimes all you need is just one person. Sometimes all you need is just one lifeline. And if you ever feel that there is someone who is sad or might be doing something wrong, then talk to them, um, you know? Um, yeah. The most important thing is to listen, to talk. You know, this is what, I mean, not to get philosophical or anything, it's, um, it's what's, it's the basis of human foundation. We've all been there for each other. 
And in times like these, um, in, in more complicated times, more modern times, sometimes you can feel left out and it's just not fair. So yeah, if you ever feel that someone's alone or need to talk to someone, be there for them. It's, it's always appreciated. Even the smallest of words can have the biggest of meanings. And, you know, sometimes people hurt themselves. And yeah, just got to be there for them. Anyways, um, sorry guys, this, this game really hit home. And yeah, it's, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, goodbye.